Almost two dozen countries are helping to build the James Webb Space Telescope. Canada is responsible for what some call the observatory steering wheel, otherwise known as the Fine Guidance Sensor, or FGS. The Canadians are also delivering one of the four scientific instruments on the telescope, the Near Infrared Imager and Slitless Spectrograph. To find out more about the FGS and NEARIS, we are here at the Canadian Space Agency's David Florida Laboratory in Ottawa, Canada. So Carl, why did you want to meet here in a chamber? Right now we're standing in front of the uh, thermal vacuum chamber where mm -hmm. we tested the instruments in the vacuum of space mm -hmm. and also in the cold environment under which it's going to operate. Mm -hmm. So it's key for us to demonstrate that our system, which has to be very sensitive, but also has to be robust enough to survive the conditions of the mission. Was there some other technology that helped develop the fine guidance and the nearest? Yes, in fact, our prime contractor, uh, ComDev Canada, developed some star tracking software for other missions and also missions that are currently ongoing. So we built on that heritage to build the software for, our, for this mission. So were there any other challenges you had to overcome to build FGS and NEARIS? Yeah, in fact, our team is spread over uh, three time zones. So mm -hmm. in order to keep communications flowing and also getting decisions in as much as real time as possible, that was a challenge. But we had a good team, a team that really believed in the mission. So we were very cohesive and we were able to overcome that. I understand the FGS and NEARIS are actually here in the building. That's right. This is our home. So if you want, we can go over and uh, take a look at them in the tent. Sounds good. Good. On the top here, what we have is the uh, fine guidance sensor. They will basically point the telescope and keep the telescope stabilized so we get really sharp images mm -hmm. uh, from that. And on the other side, we have uh, NEARIS. It has a particular capability to uh, detect exoplanets. These are planets that will be circulating around uh, a star and hopefully at the same time detect if they have atmospheres. And if they do have atmospheres, know exactly what these atmospheres contain and is it capable of sustaining life. Now I understand Fine Guidance has a redundancy built in, right? That's right. The Fine Guidance sensor has two cameras and both function the same way. And if we have a problem with one of the channels, we can switch over to the other one and not lose any, any capability, any performance. The nearest or science instrument can also perform uh, guidance functions. So it's like as if we have a third level of redundancy uh, as part of the Canadian package. Thank you, Carl, for showing us the Fine Guidance sensor and the nearest. You're very welcome, Mary. So there you have it, Canada's contribution to the James Webb Space Telescope. Thanks for joining us for yet another edition of Behind the Web. Thank you.